forerunners to the Antichrist. Who are they? These are Hitler, Stalin, Mao Zedong, Mussolini and other leaders whose political regimes became the bloodiest in the history of mankind. They had something in common, a committed belief in evolution. It made them see people as nothing more than animals that could be culled. And what if history repeats itself, and soon a person will be left alone with the real Antichrist, then all the bloody regimes will be nothing compared to his rule. The atrocities of atheist regimes of the 20th century are truly terrifying. Joseph Stalin is responsible for the death of over 20 million people. Mao Zedong is responsible for the death of over 80 million people. Adolf Hitler is responsible for the death of about 20 million people. He sought to bring German legislation into line with the inhuman philosophy of evolutionism. People with disabilities were considered subhuman because evolution was used as a moral foundation for Nazi Germany. The killing of people with disabilities was seen only as natural selection. Hitler believed that some races were superior to others and that the Jewish people were subhuman. Six million ethnic Jews were slaughtered as cattle. Mussolini, the Italian dictator and Hitler's ally, was inspired by the theory of evolution. He occupied Ethiopia. Adhering to Darwin's ideas, he believed that Ethiopians were the lowest stage of human development because they belonged to the black race. Their enslavement, according to Mussolini, was an inevitable evolutionary process. The dictator believed that nations evolved through war. Ultimately, he entered the annals of history as the one who killed millions of innocent people. He was executed by his own people for the crimes against humanity. Evolution became the basis of Stalin's materialistic philosophy. He sent hundreds of thousands of people who opposed his policy to concentration camps in Siberia and killed millions of Ukrainians by the famine during the years of collectivization. Stalin said, there are three things we do to bring religious seminarians out of the delusion. First, we need to teach them the age of the Earth, that the Earth is billions of years old. Second is a geological origin, that there was no flood. And the third is Darwin's teaching that humans are just animals. More than 160 years of communist ideology is closely connected with the ideas of Darwinism. Mao Zedong, with the support of his teacher Stalin, established a bloody and repressive regime. The ideological basis of his regime, Chinese socialism, is based on the theory of evolution. In Cambodia, the Khmer Rouge regime slaughtered and exterminated more than a third of the country's population. People were killed even for the fact that they, in the conditions of the Holodomor, took several grains from the collective farms. Since the days of Darwinism, Men began to move away from God, and what did it cost people? More than 160 years of violence and tyranny, dictatorship and racism, torture and persecution, wars that have claimed hundreds of millions of lives. And all this was only the forerunner to the Antichrist regime. And only the Church, in these terrible years, had the courage to raise its voice, as Einstein said. Only the Church was categorically against Hitler's propaganda. I never had a particular interest in the Church, but now I feel a great affection and admiration, because the Church alone had the courage and perseverance to stand up to rational truth and moral freedom. I have to admit that what I once despised, now I praise unconditionally. People died because they believed the false leaders and false messiahs who took their lives, but people did not believe Jesus Christ, who gave his life on the cross for the salvation of mankind. Therefore, the word of God comes true. Cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes the flesh his support and whose heart moves away from the Lord. Today you are given the opportunity to choose between lies and truth. Humans gave Darwinism a chance to exist, and what did it cost? Man ceases to be a man. Today history may repeat itself and humanity faces a choice. Christ or Antichrist. Talking about evolutionism makes no sense. We have enough historical facts to what this philosophy has led. And then there will be a total reign of the Antichrist. The Bible says, the clever learns from his own mistakes, 
but even hundreds of lessons cannot teach the full anything.